<laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh, well, you're welcome. Light up a room very nicely. How are you? Uh, good. Yeah, you know, this, is, this, this movie, uh, we had Gary Marshall on a, a little while ago, about a week ago, and he was talking about the film. And I, this is kind of a departure for you, because I think of you, you, you're such a good actress, you play these really intense roles a lot of times, and this is a, this is a comedy. I know, somewhere along the line, I think Natural Born Killers people sort of stereotype me. I'm not psychotic. Um, <laughs> We're flashing that underneath you right yeah, now. Yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> she's nuts. Uh-huh. But, um, so it was exciting for me to do comedy. Um, the movie is very funny, so you guys are going to enjoy it in that sense. Mm -hmm. But, um, I actually brought a joke. You brought a joke? Yeah. Okay. I brought, it's right back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey! That wasn't it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'd be great if you did prop comedy tonight, like Gallagher. Yeah, I was like, hey! Started smashing melons. Right. Okay, so, should I tell it? You, it's a joke that you tell? Okay, yeah, yeah. tell your joke, sure. What's your I'm joke? not promising it's gonna be funny. It's probably not Trust me, be... you're on the right show. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, what kind of bees make milk? What kind of bees make milk? I don't know. Boobies! <laughs> oh my God, no! <laughs> About. No, they laughed at a, cur a courtesy laugh. That's how I've built my career. What are you talking about? I get courtesy laughs every night. We call it pity. Pity, yeah. Oh. We work off that very okay. nicely. Welcome to the club. Oh, thanks. Uh, do you like, I, I love Gary Marshall. I think he's a really fun guy. He's been coming on this show for years. What's he like to work with? Is he? He's really funny because there's this saying about Gary Marshall that he doesn't direct a movie, he hosts a movie. Mm -hmm. So, and what me and Gary have in common is that we eat every like hour and a half. I have like this quick metab and I always got to keep my energy up. So he'd be like, we're constant snackers, you know, like crackers and tuna fish and cheese and, and cottage cheese. And he's like, all right, Juliet, uh, you stand over here and, uh, you know, and there's these crackers flying. And I'm like, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna stand over here, and then he has this assistant named Heather, and he's like, Heather, bring me the tuna fish, <laughs> and it's sort of this thing. That's a pretty good Gary Marshall, actually. I try. Now, we've had him here. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that, because I had to run back to the wardrobe room, like, half an hour before the show, yeah. and I'm just, you know, like, rushing down there to the wardrobe yeah. room to get, like, a tie or something, and I'm walking along, and I just passed your room, and out of one eye, I see you about to take a bite out of the biggest sandwich. Yeah, like, huge. This, the sandwich was bigger than your head. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Your sandwich towered over you. You yeah. look like Popeye in there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're never coming back, are you? Uh, you, uh, I've heard that you, because uh, you seem fun. We were talking earlier today, and you, that you throw a really good party, that you're a good party host. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, so my goal in life, one of my goals, is to, uh, you know, make lots of money and be a socialite. You know, like these rich jet setter people do, and I throw these lavish parties. I had this roller skating party um, for my birthday last year, and it was really fun. But um, I never had a prom, so I'd want to do like a mock prom. You didn't go to your prom? Well, I just didn't have a prom. I got out of school early. I missed the boat. See, you know? we had a prom. I didn't go, so <laughs> if you ever want to stage a prom, I'd be happy to come along. Oh, gosh, Conan, that's nice. <laughs> if you'd be happy enough to... Oh, my God! What? Okay. I got nervous. <laughs> what? I always play with... What? At first, he was nice, and then... Then I uh... turned creepy? Yeah. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> now you're wondering why I didn't go to my prom. I blew it. <laughs> uh, but so you'd have like a prom party? You'd restage it? Yeah, and I would do the best and worst dress, I think. Did they do that in high school? And um, king and queen. Uh, but then I thought like it would be rigged because I would win queen. <laughs> right? <laughs> Which would be cool. It would be cool, but I'd like it to happen naturally. You know? Yeah. Andy, well, Andy, you were uh, you. Andy was the king of I his prom. I was prom king. He Are was you prom. Serious? Oh. Sorry, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that up, you know. That's just a fun I, fact. I, I, I was, but it's uh, it was a small school, <laughs> and um, Andy, you don't have to mention that. That's and okay. if you were on homecoming court, you you couldn't be on prom king, so it, or you couldn't be on prom court. So it was sort of like I was sixth most popular guy. Oh, why'd you ruin it? Because you guys are so pathetic. I had to come <laughs> down to your level. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
I called you Popeye, and he said, okay, this is growing great. You know, let's get serious here for a moment, if it's okay. No, my self-esteem is you. shattered Just now. Just teasing you. We, uh, let's, have a, let's have a serious moment here, if you fine. don't mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> fine, whatever. No, uh, we should talk about something, which is, you know, we joke, we've been joking around a lot, and you're, you're a lot of fun to talk to, but... You had, you've had a bit of a painful personal experience recently in your life. You had a, uh, and we have to talk about it. People expect me to bring these things up. You broke up recently with, with a boyfriend, and I, I, just, yeah. I just felt like maybe you'd feel better if you talked about it, that's <clears> all. And I was just curious how you felt when the relationship ended. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Conan. Well, see, at first, I was afraid. I mean, I was I was petrified, mm -hmm. and I kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. And then I spent so many nights. Thinking